Did you recently start with FPGA programming or you've been thinking of starting with FPGA programming but you don't know what FPGA projects to do? Well, my name is Grady, I'm with Simply Embedded and today I'm going to talk about 5 FPGA projects for beginners. So let's get started. Before I start, I just wanted you to know that these projects are based on my opinions and my thoughts. So you might feel differently and you might have other ideas for this and that's fine. So let me know what would be your ideas for the project. So maybe that's there's something like you would suggest or you, you would want me to see doing tutorials on just, just let me know. I want to hear your thoughts on this. I want to know your comments on it. So just let me know. I'm open to everything. Assuming you're watching this video for the first time on my channel, consider subscribing and make sure you ring the bell as well to get notifications for future videos. And if you like this video, hit the like button, honestly. Show your support, I would appreciate that a ton. So let's get into the topic finally. All right, so the first project I would recommend doing for the beginners would be switches and LEDs. What I mean by this is that you control the LEDs with switches. Typically, almost any development board has some kind of switches and LEDs on it or, or something like that. That's just the basic thing. You, you want to get the basics down first. So learn about how the hardware works, how the software works, how to program FPGAs. You want to get an understanding of this. If you're doing this project, and I remember when I first time did it and I flipped the switch and the light turned on, it was just so cool. Um, now, it's, it, now it just looks like, uh, yeah, a light turns on, what's the big deal? But dang, like that was cool. For me, it was cool. And I hope you had the same reaction. Honestly, if you had the same reaction or similar reaction in any other project that you did on FPGA, just let me know in the comment sections below. I think that's definitely the first go-to project you should be doing. For the second project, I would recommend learning about uh, digital logic and the digital logic systems. So basic gates like and, or, XOR, and so on. And also, about encoders, flip-flops, and what are all those things. So make sure you check those out. It's just highly important to understand what's, what's actually happening in the hardware. So that goes really along with the first one. So it's, it's also the basics. So you want to build up onto this. Third one, I would recommend doing blinking LED. So it's understanding the fundamentals of clocks. So you want to make sure you understand how a clock works, what is a clock given, and all those things. That's, that's really, that's really where the things will get more interesting. I, I think that would be a fun project to do. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you agree with me or if you disagree, let me know in the comment sections below. And I, I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Honestly, I think it would be great to know what you're thinking about it. But for the fourth project, I would recommend VGA controller. So now that you've learned about the clocks and you want to add to it some arithmetic logic, it's such a fun project to do. I remember when I first did it, it was so fascinating. You would be able to see something on a LCD screen. And it's just it's super cool. You can make patterns, you can make some squares on the screen, you can make the square move around. Number five, I would recommend doing servo motors and DC motors. I, I think it's such a fun thing to do. So you can make robots or something like that or a car that moves around with a DC motor like this or any other DC motor you might have a different one or a servo motor either way in order to do it though you would need to learn about some concepts about pulse width modulation I, I think that would be just a great great thing to do so if you feel like hey like I've done this project and I feel like I'm still like in a beginner stage would you would you recommend some other projects just let me know in the comment sections below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. I think it'll be great. I, I love your passion. If you're, if you're here already, if you started with FPG programming, or you're thinking of starting with FPG programming, I'm here as your resource to help you get started, help you learn. Uh, I want to help you advance and just grow in this area. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I truly appreciate your time. If you're new to this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Click on the screen to see another video from Simply Embedded and I'll see you next time. Mm. Nothing better than a nice tea. If you also like tea, like this video. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, if, if you actually like the content, like this video.